Okay, so this is part one of two of making mercury metal, and in this video, we're going to be making a solution of sodium sulfide. And if you're wondering why I'm going to need it, you'll see in the next video. So all you're going to need for this is sodium hydroxide and some sulfur. Okay, so to about 175 milliliters of water, I'm going to add 50 grams of sodium hydroxide. Now we're going to mix everything until all of the sodium hydroxide dissolves. Okay, so now I move everything onto a hot plate and I try to turn on the stirring, but it kind of just fails. Eventually though, I got the stirring to kind of work. Now I'm just going to add about 20 grams of sulfur, which kind of just looks like powdered bananas. Anyways, the sulfur kind of just flitted on top and it was pretty annoying. Eventually, the sulfur starts dissolving in solution, forming sodium sulfide. However, sodium sulfide is clear and this yellow color is actually from some polysulfides forming. One thing I forgot to mention is this reaction also forms sodium thiosulfate and that's just an impurity. Over time, more and more sulfur dissolves, and it turns into this orangey-red solution. When it turns red, there's very little sulfur left, and I just have to stir it more and more until all the sulfur dissolves. When all the sulfur dissolves, we're left with this red solution. Nice. Now I'm going to transfer the sodium sulfide solution to a storage container. For some reason, this part really, really smelled quite bad, and it was probably because of the evolution of hydrogen sulfide gas. A.K.A. Egg gas. While cooling down, a bit of sulfur precipitated, and I made sure not to include that in the solution. Now the bottle is capped, and we're left with the nice final product. Okay, now that I've labeled the final product, I'm completely done with part one of this series. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Well, you don't have to like and subscribe, but uh, thanks for watching this video.